Hey, I'm Robbie Meyer, the Architects Concierge from Golden State Lumber, and a few months back, I discovered and shared with all of you a revolutionary new thermally broken wall stud called the T-Stud. Now, this thing really kind of got my head spinning, and since, I've been exploring and evaluating tons of other new products that could potentially be utilized to improve wall performance in preparation for the upcoming changes in the building code this year. I'm focusing next year's 10 Best New Products presentation on products around the new code requirements and expecting that this new focus on thermal envelope performance is going to be a pretty hot topic as the Net Zero Initiative takes hold and the new code requirements start demanding we address thermal envelope performance. This week I was exploring a new rain screed product from Keen. It's really interesting because it's so simple and I like simple. Now, granted, rain screen isn't anything new. It's been in use in wet climates like the Pacific Northwest for years. I even sold it on my own home like 10 years ago. But given the movement towards tighter building in California, yet still having this need to evacuate any rogue water that may have found its way back behind the siding, I can see rain screen materials becoming commonplace in the assembly of high performance walls with an added benefit that I'm not seeing any manufacturer realizing or at least marketing towards. More info on the product. This here, this is easy fur from Keen. Now Keen makes a whole suite of rain screen products. I've only got a few out here today, but here's another one here. It's called Drywall, and it comes in several different thicknesses, and it's got this fabric on it that's uh, like a, got a UV coating that protects it from the sun. And I really like this, but the product I really like is the Easy Fur. Easy Fur is an entangled polymer net furring strip that's 10 millimeters thick and about three and a half inches wide. 10 millimeters is about three eighths of an inch, by the way. It all comes in rolls. You simply staple it down the sheathing over the water resistant barrier on 16 inch centers and install the siding right over the top of it. Boom. Rain screed, installed, quick and easy, simple, nothing complicated, no special fasteners. And now, should water get back behind the siding, it's got somewhere to go. But there's another benefit here I'd like to discuss. This product, as can be said with just about any rain screen assembly, it also acts as a thermal break, isolating the exterior siding from the exterior sheathing, reducing thermal conductivity between the siding and the wall, defending against heat transfer. Because the siding is going to get hot, right? But the sheathing behind it won't because it's not in contact. It's suspended between the keen fiber. Now, I'm no Title 24 engineer. So I don't know the performance variables and all the formulas that would determine to what level we could expect to gain in performance, I mean, if any at all, of the thermal envelope, but common sense kind of tells me that this is something to consider. If the great design hive mind of YouTube has any input here, I'd love to hear it. I'm excited about all this stuff happening and I'm curious to know your thoughts. Feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget, I'm hosting a presentation on the wall assembly in conjunction with Marvin Windows at the San Francisco offices of the AIA on November 13th. I'd love to see you there. We're also hosting a Title 24 presentation in our Concord Design Center on October 4th and a True Style Modern Door presentation in our Santa Rosa Design Center on October 16th. More information on all of those events can be found in the email newsletter where you found this video. I'm Robbie Meyer, the Architects Concierge from Golden State Lumber. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.